agriculture not only feeds the nation, but also contributes significantly to overall economic growth and socio-economic stability. And the role players within the agri-sector are stewards of food security, environmental protection and land reform. Agbiz is proud to lead the way to prosperity. What really amazes me is this ability of the South African business movement to be resilient and to change to serve the interests of the South African agriculture environment. In the mid-1900s, the Cooperative Council was established and that led to some wonderful events such as FETSOC and Centra Boer and Centra Us that really served the interests of agriculture dramatically. All of that changed in the 90s with the political changes, the scrapping of the Marketing Act, and also the transformation of many cooperatives into agricultural companies. Really, it strikes me how this movement retained its relevancy over time and became, and still is, very, very important player in our economy. It's been 10 years since the body underwent a major relaunch as Agbiz, establishing an organization that strives daily to advocate for and facilitate a favorable environment for agribusinesses in South Africa. The role that organized agriculture plays uh, in South Africa in the overall success of South African agriculture should not for a minute be under, um, underestimated. I mean, this is a capability that uh, doesn't exist anywhere on the African continent. And I mean, Agbus plays such an important role behind the scenes to uh, influence policy, to make things happen. I mean, everything from harbors to railway to the regeneration of the, of the plot lot. I mean, I, I really shudder to think where South African agriculture would be without Agbus. In this way, we at Agbiz have affected major change, like influencing rural rejuvenation and land reform policy. We also established independent industry desks, Winebiz, Agbiz Grain and Agbiz Fruit, because we know that specialized industries need dedicated focus and at times urgent interventions. Success at commodity level is all about partnerships and our ability to strengthen that in difficult times. Our relationship with the Agbis team under the alcohol bans and lockdowns was really worth it, where we discussed 24-7 options, influencing, impact, and we did manage to ultimately differentiate wine from other commodities which were not allowed to trade, and that made a significant difference. This approach, where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts in leveraging and influencing policy, is one of Agbis's key strengths building an ethos of proactive consensus and an unmatched unity of purpose. But how do you measure influence? Through research and science-based methodologies that are carefully implemented at the right time. Agbus played a critical role in the development of the Agriculture and Agroprocessing Master Plan that has recently been signed. And I'm saying this uh, from, on behalf of the BFAP team, we were appointed as technical advisors to the process. So doing a lot of the analytics, and really having appreciation for a stakeholder like Agbus to have the ability to follow an end-to-end -end approach in the value chain, identify key levers of interventions and critical policies that have to be implemented to really drive the inclusive growth part of this economy. Agbus identifies its focus areas for future projects through careful consultation, during which problem statements and industry disablers are pinpointed. The diverse nature of Agbiz's membership means that the issues we focus on range from sector-specific issues to some of the most critical challenges facing the economy. In this regard, we also lean quite heavily on some of our networks and linkages with other business organisations, with academia, as well as, of course, some of the expertise within the sector. There's a number of pressure points that we see in South Africa's agricultural sector. The first step is saying, how do we contribute in rebuilding the economy? and agriculture has a role in job creation, revitalizing the small towns. But the long debated land reform is still with us. And as agribusinesses, we are willing to contribute positively in that debate and progress. And of course, the network industries are at the heart of what we're dealing with, we're including road, ports, electricity, water. And in addition to that, the municipalities have to work efficiently in serving the agribusiness sector. Those are some of the important themes and climate change that we'll be debating as we progress in the sector. Agbiz understands that the beating heart of agriculture is its people. If our values align with yours, then join us in finding, 
the way to prosperity.